call me Ellie. I am originally from Colombia, in case you didn't know and you're new to my channel, but I live in the Great White North, aka Canada. In today's video, as promised, we are going to do a mock-up of the G2 road test. For those of you who are either preparing for the test or you're just curious about what it's like to take that test here in Canada. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to Canal Elio Hernández. The following is an example of what your G2 road test might look like. Hi Elizabeth, I'll be your evaluator today. Uh, can I start by getting your license? And sure. Then I'm going to walk around and do a little safety check. Make sounds sure good. your blinkers and your brake lights are working. Okay, sounds good. I'll take that back. Thanks. Okay, I can try your left blinker. Okay, and your right blinker. All right, and your brake lights. Okay, I'm just gonna try the front now. You get your right blinker. Okay, your left blinker. All right, so I'm going to enter the vehicle and we'll begin the test. And the next step is the evaluator jumps in the car. I don't think that person was going 50. No, they were not going 50 at all. And so, and the next step is the evaluator gets in the car and that's when you panic. <laughs> Just kidding, don't panic. No matter what you're doing, do not panic. Panicking is the last thing you want to do. Okay, so we're ready to begin the road test. Um, if we have any questions throughout, feel free to ask. Uh, and if you have any questions now before we begin, also feel free to ask. Um, so if I'm, for example, I'm parallel parking and I make a mistake, can I correct myself or is that going to be like, uh, like is that going to ruin my points in my evaluation? Yeah, you are welcome to, like if you back into the curb a little bit, you're welcome to correct yourself. Um, so if you're ready to begin, then let's get started. When taking this test, don't forget to signal. It's better to signal too much or too often than not often enough. This includes parking lots and lonely roads. Okay, next intersection, turn left. It's also important to check your mirrors and your blind spots frequently, like every 5 seconds or so. Okay, now I'd like you to perform an emergency stop and then a three-point turn to come out of it. Some of the most important aspects of your test or what they're going to be evaluating are parallel parking, three-point turn, emergency stop, and lane change. And getting into position is just as important as getting out of it. So check your mirrors, check your blind spots, signal when you're going in and out of the position, and do not rush. Only move your car when it's safe to do so. There's no need to rush. It's called a three-point turn because you use three moves to turn your car around. First, for the emergency stop, you signal right and pull over as far right as possible. Then, check for traffic and when it's safe to do so, perform the three-point turn. Do not forget to signal and check your blind spots. safe, I'd like you to perform a parallel park behind one of the vehicles in the road ahead.
for this one, make sure your car is in line with the other parked vehicle and both your back window and theirs are parallel to each other. Then crank the wheel to the right and start reversing. Once your vehicle is in a 45 degree angle, straighten your wheels and keep reversing. When your front bumper is aligned with the other vehicle's back bumper, crank the wheels to the left and keep backing up until you're completely behind the car. When you're finished with the move, put your gear in park and wait for the evaluator to instruct you to leave. guys in your country and where you're from but in Colombia it's fairly easy to get your driver's license all you have to do is just pay some money to I mean to pay for your driver's license and get a medical that shows that you have good sight and good hearing and that's pretty much about it and sometimes it's even just as easy as mm. super bueno porque no estoy haciendo frío tampoco calor pero <gasps> La licencia. Me salió la licencia. What? Yes. That's why we have so many accidents on the road and so much road rage. But all jokes aside, um, do you know where I'm standing in front of? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It means railway crossing. And if you're gonna pass through during your test, make sure that you follow the correct procedure. And what's the procedure? Make sure that you don't go as fast through it and that you look both ways before you actually cross. That's a very important point in one of your test marks. So make sure that you follow the correct procedure when you're crossing. It's crucial for your G2 test that you can drive within the speed limit and according to the weather and road conditions, never too fast or too slow. This road's actually a 50. Oh. Thought it was a 40, sorry. It's okay. Remember that these rules and procedures have been put in place for a reason. So evaluators are not going to have you do anything you feel uncomfortable with or anything illegal. So if you're the kind of person that gets super, super stressed out about these type of tests, do a lot of practice and practice for this test because much of the driving in Canada also revolves around politeness. When you go to a stop sign, for example, or a, a four-way stop, it's the first person who gets to the stop, the one that gets to go, which would be something that I don't know, but I don't know about you, but in Colombia, that wouldn't fly. So remember that just because you are a driver in your home country, that doesn't automatically guarantee that you are fit to drive in Canada. Okay, and here are some things I forgot to mention. Sometimes they say that if you have long hair, it's good to have your hair on a ponytail for your test because the evaluator will see you turning your head when you're looking at the mirrors as opposed to like covering your face with your hair. I personally don't think that it's an obligation, but if you wanna do it that way, sure. In the video, I had my hair like in a weird little, I don't know, like hairdo up here. I think that's okay as long as you're not covering your face. If there's anything you don't understand about the instructions, if you're like me and English is your second language and you don't understand what they're asking you to do, ask questions. They're obligated to answer any questions you have so that you don't put your life in jeopardy or their life in jeopardy or that you don't cause an accident or do something you don't feel comfortable with. And finally, do not, listen to me, do not take this test if you're not ready. If you don't feel like your driving abilities are good for the road, just keep practicing and take the test when you're ready for it. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I truly wish you nothing but the best if you're taking your G2 test. Um, remember, I took my test in Ontario. I don't know how different the rules are in other places places of Canada so just take that with a grain of salt uh, thank you very much for being here if you don't follow me on social media please follow me uh, canal Eli Bernal for Facebook Twitter and Instagram I am also collecting new topics for this year's video so if you have anything in mind leave them in the comments once again 
Thank you so much for being here. Los quiero mucho, mucho. Chao, chao. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to our driving evaluator, Mr. Timbers. Thank you so much for being in our video. I truly appreciate your taking the time to teach my followers and my subscribers how to take the G2 road test.